everyone in their seats here in Boston to watch the Celtics on the home court. And our State Farm starting lineups. Here's a look. And as we take a look here at Kevin Garnett, guys, what's your take? Well, the biggest thing with Kevin Garnett is to the impact he has on the game at the defensive end of the floor. He covers so much space. He's got those long arms. He's a wonderful communicator, kind of the quarterback of that defense. And he will shut down the player he's guarding on a nightly basis. Rose against Chalmers. Back to Garnett. And that comes off the assist by Mario Chalmers. Chance to speak with head coach Doc Rivers. He said that their defensive focus, no surprise, will be trying to keep Derrick Rose out of the lane. He has a, you know he's come a long way as an outside shooter, but he's a pick. And a little over two and a half minutes gone here in the first. Jeff Green on the wing. Three pointer. That's good. And so Chalmers with the assist. Chalmers has got three assists tonight. Well, he can shoot the three. We know that. But I'm not sure the D does. I mean, they weren't anywhere near him on that possession. Now, here is Davis. 14 points from him. The last game against the Timberwolves in Minneapolis. Chipped in with a couple of blocks, too. So, you know, just giving you a hint of his potential impact at the defensive end. Pretty significant laps there on the defensive end, guy. Playoff status apparently meant nothing when it came to how they matched up. Yes, and it's Rose with the assist that time. Davis has got his second bucket of the night. Here's Clutch. And Hoosier with the block. They get it back. Green, no luck. The Bulls leading by three. And it's Rose penetrating. That one goes. Count it. Trail by three. Inside. An amazing finish with a hand right in his face. Good, but okay. Still, I think the key to their team was the steals that you talked about because uh, they were a team that put a lot of pressure on the offense. They got out, played the passing lane, tried to force turnovers, and when they did, five buckets, guys, have come from inside the lane area. So I'd expect them to continue to go inside right at the defense. Here's Clutch. He's coming off a 25-point game against Miami. Gets it to go. Shoots a fader. Joaquin Noah grabs the miss. He's really struggling in this quarter right now. They need to think about getting the ball out of play. Yeah, he's giving that breakaway rim a workout. Yeah, he, he powered it down and then hung around. Mm, strong finish. And he just wanted to sit there and savor it for a second. And that was Sprite bringing you the close-up on that big-time play. Here's Clutch after the Bulls pick up two. Defended by Butler. Here's Atkins. Drops in the layup for two. Oh, a nice little trend developing here, fellas. I mean, that's eight of their last ten from inside the paint. Yeah, they're getting high percentage looks down there. Their offense is really clicking. I don't see why they wouldn't just continue to pound the ball inside. Rose and blocked. But they'll get another chance. There's the steal. Jumps up. Oh, oh, no. oh man, that was unreal. Mark it up. Did you see that? Oh, we got to see that one again, guys. We've got to see that yeah, again. I, I need a replay. I, I, I'm not sure what I just looked at. There's 31 seconds left in the first. Back to Butler. He feeds it to Rhodes. Outside Butler. Feeds to Noah. Back and down. The tip in on the offensive rebound. Gibson's got his third bucket of the night. I can imagine they're going to hear an earful about this next stop. I mean, that's three straight field goals given up right in the middle of the lane. Inexcusable. Well, defense starts at the rim. I mean, you want teams shooting the ball from the outside, and that's not happening. They're just giving up everything inside. The basket's coming early and often in the first quarter. Bulls out front, leading by seven. Here, Atkins checked in. Bulls making a switch here. Here's Clutch. Let's it go with a three. That's the bucket. Nine points in the game so far. Well, he wasn't going to miss that. I mean, they were way too late to get to him out there. Pass to Boozer. Working on Green. 
Rebounded by the Celtics. And finished off by Noah. There he goes again, that lower body root canal, clearing out space <laughs> under the offensive glass. <laughs> yeah, that is an area he absolutely excels in. Hey, dentistry or not. Uh, <laughs> does he need Novocaine for that? <laughs> There's 14 seconds left to play in the first half. Davis kicks to Boozer. Over Green. Boozer missing again. You know, when the shot's not there for you, you've just got to recognize it and move the ball on. Yeah, I think he had tunnel vision right there. His only thought was to shoot it, no matter what else was going on. The clock runs out, and we're heading to halftime. And welcome to halftime, everyone. Great one underway in Boston. Chicago with the lead against Boston. It's been a tough start for them this season, looking to make up some ground here tonight. We've seen Derrick Rose scoring effortlessly against the Celtics' defense. High percentage looks in the first half. Amazing work from the field. Shooting in the high 60s. That's big time bucket buying. And no shortage of desire from the Celtics side of things. These guys are known for turning other teams over. And they got some light fingered players. And this game is no different. An unbelievable half from Jeff Green. Seems like everything's falling for him. Not sure if he even knows how to miss. We welcome you back to the lovely and historic city of Boston, Massachusetts. Excellent game we've seen from Derrick Rose. He has 18 points, and he's ventured beyond the arc for a three-pointer today, too. And that's another thing he's proven he has the ability to do. They wouldn't mind seeing a few more of those three balls drop for him. And dang, here we go. Outside for Davis. For three. The shot is off. Now the Celtics take it the other way. Down low. And the basket by Pierce. Now they've got to offer more resistance inside. Just too many easy buckets in the paint. A right, big lead they're enjoying on the glass. Rebound, Boston. Parker looking out a sizable deficit. Yeah, you know, they've got a lot of work ahead of them, but no reason to give up hope right now. No, the game's still out there for them, but they've got to get back to their game plan and start to grind out each possession. Pierce. Here's Garnett, and he bangs it home with one hand. You know, that kind of play will get you some brownie points with your coach, no doubt. And with your fans, too, Clark, on a big dunk like that. And yeah. even with the announcer. Oh, yeah! <laughs> There's a screen to the paint. Here's... Oh, 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 oh. Well, that's some physical basketball out there. I'm glad I'm not in the middle of that. A hard <laughs> pick and an assault on the butt. Davis with it. Ten points for him. Poked loose. And pushing it up, here's Boston. Here's Clutch. That's good. Now it's just a three-point Bulls lead. He's been producing all night. It's up to the rest of his team to start kicking in a little bit. Rose kicks to Davis. There's the dish to Noah. And there's the foul. It's on Clutch. That's his fifth foul. Well, one more, and that's it. He'll be DQ disqualified. He's got to be able to defend without picking up that last disqualifying foul. Celtics making a switch here. Mello's checked in. Taj Gibson's checked in for Chicago. Here's Boozer. It's good. This time the assist from Rose. Nine points for Carlos Boozer. Celtics trail by five. Now Chalmers makes the lead pass. Oh, and the dunk by Mello. Well, they really picked up the intensity here since halftime. With that last one here tonight, and it's Rose penetrating. Blocked. Then kicks to Gibson. Back to Dan. Second chance shot, and he connects with the jumper. So, outside, Davis. The rebound by Jeff Green. Terrific job that time defending at the rim. I mean, it's not an easy task. Oh, look out! Oh, 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 oh. Oh. On that chance. Yeah, defensively, you're right. Not a great sequence. Well, they lost track of them, and they paid the price. And that last replay, courtesy of Sprite. And it's Gibson finishing it off. Feeds it to Mello. The shot will not go. Now Chicago takes it the other way. Rose kicks to Gibson. Oh, oh ridiculous. Tore it down that time. <laughs> this lead. They continue to build on this lead. 
Yeah, they're trying to get a little more separation, Steve, and they actually have a chance to do it the way they're making plays with both ends. Gets it to go. That's his first three-pointer of the half, number piling up. I mean, this, is, this has been a, a nice game execution-wise for this club. Well, you know what? You really expect him to knock that jumper down when he gets a good look like that. And Davis, here we go. And it's Gibson finishing it off. Over Gibson. The shot by Pierce will not go. Nice little lead they're enjoying here, and they deserve it with all the work. Oh! oh are you kidding me? That was a power yes, punch right yeah. there. Oh, great. Boy, I love it. Absolutely love it. You can almost hear the fans hold their breath when he takes off. He is a true powerhouse. Well, you don't want to be in his way on dunks like that one, that's for sure. Here's Clutch. Cruise it from outside. Keep the ball on the perimeter. Yeah, he's not going to miss those, not often anyway. The defense has to muscle up and deny him that position to have a chance. Got that bucket in in no time at all. Here's Clutch. And he beat the buzzer, but it's no good. The third quarter comes to a close. It's the Bulls. They lead by four. Now let's check in with Doris Burke for the Sprite uncontainable game. Doris? Hi, guys. Taj Gibson has had an uncontainable game tonight. Energy, passion, key plays. He's provided all of them from the bench and done everything you could have asked for a reserve. He energizes everybody else. It's contagious. So for Chicago right now, Rose and Rip Hamilton man the backcourt. Bang out there with Richardson. And it's Noah in a percent. And finished off by Bass. You know, once he corralled that rebound, he was in just the right spot to power it back down. Boy, he's going to forget the pain he's playing through. Sometimes shot making can give you that added boost of adrenaline. Foul call that time on the way up. That'll give him two chances at the free throw line here. Clutch. And so he's picked up his final foul. Well, you picked up 24 points tonight. It was clear you were a force for your team, chipping in so much on offense. Do you feel satisfied with your performance even though the team lost? Not at all, man. There's only one stat that matters, and it's wins. Scoring is nice and all, but anyone on our team can get those points if I don't. We're a good team top to bottom, man. The number that counts is the one next to our team name, not the one next to our individual names. You feel me? Nobody runs the table, though, so you have to expect to drop a few here and there. But you can believe that we'll use this as motivation to go out and work even harder, man, for sure.